So today we're going to be taking a look at bootstrap badges. Now bootstrap badges look like this. They can also be inside of buttons and they can also look like this and like this. Okay, so the first example I have here for you is just them inside of these H tags here. You can also put them inside of P tags, pretty much any text tag. They will automatically resize to whatever font you're using. So they're pretty flexible. The way they work is just put them inside of a span, then add the class of batch, and then this is going to be the color. We'll go over that later. And then you put the text inside, which is just the text you want inside. You can add something else here, like text or whatever you want. And essentially it will just put that in there. It's pretty simple. Now you can also add them inside of buttons where you can add pretty much anything in there. You can also put text in here. You're not only limited to numbers. You can also change this color here, put it as success, and that will change the color of the batch. Now, wherever you're doing the batch, sometimes it can be difficult for screen readers to actually figure out what that number means. So to help the screen readers, all you want to do is add a class with SR and then just put in the message, unread messages. This will indicate to the screen reader that this is unread messages. So for people with disabilities, this is pretty important if you want to make that application support screen readers and other helping tools. Now the next way we can use batches are like this. You can also see all the colors here. And just keep in mind how they work. They work sort of just like text. And that will be relevant to something I'm going to be showing you later. Now you can also make them sh be shaped like pillar forms. So they will just be a bit more rounded. Now, if you want them to be interactable, you can actually put them inside of an A tag. And that way they're clickable and you can add some kind of event to them. Okay, so that has been bootstrap batches. Now, if there's any other components you want me to take a look at, just comment down below. The list of components are over here. If you don't comment anything, I'll just, you know, take them in order. Next time it's going to be this component here. And then so on. We're going to be taking a look at buttons until we have covered all the components of Bootstrap. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully see you in the next one.